welcome to another episode of Stella's Recipe. Today we're going to make a cup noodle fried rice. Sounds a bit weird, right? Maybe a lot of people these days force us to stay at home and make a food using an ingredient at home. And I think the most commonly available food is cup noodle. This recipe was made by a Japanese YouTuber, and I heard that this recipe is in trend not even in Japan but also in Korea. So if you're ready, let's get started. Slice 40 grams of spring onion. Next, crush one egg in a bowl and sprinkle a pinch of salt. Then whisk it all together. Open up the case of shin ramen and take out the noodle and soup. Put them in a plastic bag and crush them using a push stick. If you don't have a push stick, you can just use your hands to crush noodle. Shake it very well to mix them all together. Put them in an empty cup noodle box. Put half a cup of water to make it softer. Leave this for 15 minutes. Put two spoons of oil in a pan and put a chopped spring onion. Stir them for three minutes in a medium meat. The scent of spring onion would absorb in an oil. Then add a beaten egg in a pan. Stir them for 30 seconds. Put a 200 grams of steamed rice inside. Stir them all together for one minute. Put a ramen inside. Stir them together for five minutes in a high heat. The reason why I cook them in a high heat is to evaporate the moisture in a noodle. If you're done, let's make a black bean noodle fried rice. And dice the onion up. The next process is pretty much the same with the previous one. Take out the noodle and soup inside a cup noodle. Put them in a plastic bag and crush them using a push stick. Shake it very well to mix them all together. Put them in an empty cup noodle box. Put half a cup of water. Leave this for 15 minutes. Put 
Put two spoons of oil in a pan and put chopped onion. Stir them for one minute in a medium heat. Put a beaten egg inside. Stir them for 30 seconds. Put 200 grams of steamed rice inside. Stir them all together for one minute. Put a noodle inside. Stir them all together for 5 minutes in a high heat. If there is too much water inside, take them out before you cook them. Place them on a dish and have a bite. The noodle inside is so chewy and rice is so properly seasoned. Now I understand it is so popular. Thank you for watching today's video and hope to see you in the next video. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Bye bye!